it's me so real bringing you my view as another video bringing the shot right at to you x bots how you feeling about this what's going on with halo infinite i love that that, that they are in denial when xbox has made anti-consumer moves as a matter of fact that they in fact are the ones that has made the most biggest most damaging anti-consumer moves and and has done multiple not here and there but at one time, the most biggest ones, the first of the generation of the last console with the DRM sharing games, telling some of your uh, consumers to stick to the 360 if you can't connect to the internet and shit like that. But they want to, oh, no, it's, it's a pass, it's a pass. And and then when Mark uh, Sony doesn't want to approve a crossplay, which I I didn't want crossplay to happen, maybe because of something like this. How did the first initial game that came out right when crossplay was implemented between Xbox and PC? How did that uh fucking Sea of Thieves work out for you, you Xbox? with playing with the PC players. Hmm? Uh, I think I was hearing about enemy ships visit from PCs being <coughs> <coughs> invisible and they'll get right up to you, get inside your ship and damage your ship from the inside and you don't know what the hell's going. Taking your shit. Now, here we are, Halo Infinite. One of your big, the one of your biggest games come out multiplayer free to play. <laughs> of course, with PC. So let's hear how it's going. A substantial amount of Halo Infinite players that play on console are asking to be opted out of crossplay. And this is not a video about people complaining that PC players got it better, controller players got it better. This is specifically console people asking since they've seen many people playing Halo Infinite on PC using aimbot. A subst Let me uh, replace that because I was trying to talk over it. You'll see, you see the enemy put the red figures in behind there that's enemy players so he's seen it's actually showing the player cheating Actual amount of Halo Infinite players that play on console are asking to be opted out of crossplay. And this is not a video about people complaining that PC players got it better, controller players got it better. This is specifically console people asking since they've seen many people playing Halo Infinite on PC using aimbots and cheating. Halo Infinite multiplayer came out on November the 15th, almost a month earlier before its original release date. And the great thing about the multiplayer is that it's completely free to play. So so anybody can pick it up and enjoy it. But with depressing predictability, a free-to-play competitive game like Halo Infinite will always have its downsides. That being a small group of people downloading aim assist applications so they can ruin everybody else's game. Thankfully, the theater mode feature that you can use to look at previous games that you've played allows us to catch and identify these cheaters who are using these aim hacks. You're able to flip between different players' first person view. And from here, we can see how they behave, where they move, what weapons they use, when they fire, etc. And in this gameplay I'm showing you now, this person recorded the other person's point of view in the theater mode. And we can see this cheater firing preemptively before his enemy comes into his line of sight. And it's not just that, when we see this player leave this cheater's line of sight, you can still see his crosshair following the head of that player, despite there only being a wall in front of him. This is one of the biggest indications that someone is cheating. When the person who recorded this footage confronted the cheater, he said he responded saying he was only using a controller mod. That is evidently a lie. We know this guy is using a PC because of his drastic movements from left to right with his camera, something controller players don't do they don't have this rapid turning to the left to try and react to something there's always a max speed of how they can move their camera around this is obviously not the first or last complaint somebody had about cheaters in halo infinite on the halo subreddit somebody found someone cheating just under a week after the game launched 
meaning people have already broken through Halo Infinite's anti-cheat system in less than five days. Now, to play the Less than five days already cheating. Oh my God. Devil's Advocate, we don't actually know if any of these cheaters have been banned yet, and we know cheating systems has been on Halo Infinite developers' minds because they've openly announced that they turned off the reticle turning red when you're highlighting an enemy for PC play. So the, the, the cheating has been on the developer's mind. But how, what good does that do? So you, you, before the game came out, the free play before it released, it's been on their mind about cheating. Because maybe because they knew that their shit wasn't ready yet. Just like, you know, they promised from, you know, pro like the prior game coming out with uh, simple uh, things that's been in Halo uh, staples for generations, you know, for several titles, Forge, uh, uh, Co-op. They wasn't ready for this, so they said... Or hell, infinite that it was definitely going to be intimated on release. How did that work out for them, motherfuckers? No, no forge, no uh, co-op, and and look how it comes out. <laughs> Five days. No, they're thinking about cheaters. Yes. They do this specifically so they can prevent shooting aim assist from firing as soon as the reticle turns red. What that cheat does is it reads your monitor's pixels and what color they are, and they wait for the crosshair color to turn from white to red, and that's when it auto-fires for you. That, as a programmer, is really easy to code. So when Halo Infinite developers stop that feature from happening, they have to find more complicated workarounds to circumvent it. But to see people circumventing it in less than a week is a little bit worrying. Not to mention, there isn't a sophisticated way to report these cheaters in-game. Of course, Xbox console players can report the gamer card of opponents, but it doesn't specify which game that they were cheating in, and it's only really used for when somebody's being vulgar or harassing someone through voice notes or voice chat. For reporting someone for cheating in a specific match of a specific game, it's probably going to fall on deaf ears. For PC players, it's actually worse. There is a report button that you can use, but you have to type in all the information, including the player's name, manually. I assume they do it this way to ensure that people don't spam report someone if they're having a oh bad game, god. but at that point you may- Oh my god. Oh. How... You know they're not going to be on top of this cheating right away, you know, to keep them for cheating. So, you, 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 more than a year, a year and a half, you're going to have to suffer with this cheating. <laughs> and the simple facts too, that you can't even report them. There is no in-game reporting of certain players cheating. The only thing you could do is report a uh, fucking... <laughs> the gamer tag directly to Microsoft, which is not going to really do anything. They're not going to take any actions towards a cheater on a certain game. Like you said, they, they, the, the, those kind of reports mostly goes through harassments of voice chat and shit like that. <laughs> oh. I saw how you <laughs> bots and battle this. Yeah, how are you gonna cope with your the fact that you cried for something just to spike Sony because you can't handle that your preferred uh, console platform or whatever uh, brand has made the biggest anti-consumer moves you had to double you had to blank uh take charge of whatever first thing that came across sony not one except crossplay you oh you're in you had to attack that you had to grasp at that use that against sony just so you could have something against sony because you you can't excuse Microsoft's anti-consumer moves and the fact that they have made the biggest ones ever. That's not going to be topped. And this is what you get. 
<laughs> this is what you this is what you reap. This is what you sow.